How to Know with Humility. Hi, I'm Father Christopher Plant, pastor of St. Bartholomew here in Katy, Texas, and you are watching this homily afterthought with Conversing Clergy. This homily afterthought follows the homily preached from this last weekend. You can find it on the link below on YouTube and above on Facebook. And while I'm at it, feel free to follow, subscribe, and hit that bell on YouTube to be notified whenever we go live or publish our videos. I remember when I was at the seminary writing research papers, taking regular trips to the library, and I, as I would look for the books I needed for my paper, I would find other books that would be interesting to read as well. They were books about Jesus, um, about the church, uh, about Mary, about history, about philosophy, all kinds of books. And some are written by great saints like St. Saint Augustine and St. Thomas Aquinas. And others, of course, were written by really good contemporary scholars. And sometimes I would feel lost in a vast sea of knowledge and wisdom and think to myself, there is so much time, there is so much to learn and so little time. So much to learn and so little time. And the reality is that these books regarded the things of God and the things of God could not be contained in all the libraries in all the world. And there are other times when after finishing a successful pa uh, paper, however, I would feel rather accomplished. I've mastered the material. There's really little more needed to learn for me on this particular topic. So sometimes on the one hand, I would feel lost and on the other, I would feel like a master. But the truth is that both of these feelings are not the proper response when we are engaged with spiritual knowledge and wisdom. This reminds me of St. Ephraim, a deacon, who said more about this in his commentary on the Diatessaron. This is in the Office of Readings, by the way. He says that whenever anyone discovers some part of the treasure of this knowledge and wisdom, he should not think he was exhausting God's word. Instead, he should feel that this is all that he was able to find of the wealth contained in it. But he also says, do not be saddened when you feel overwhelmed. A thirsty man is happy when he is drinking, and he is not depressed because he cannot exhaust the spring. That is how we should see the vast richness of knowledge and wisdom that the Catholic Church contains. This vast richness we drink in. We drink it in from the liturgy, especially the Eucharist. We drink it in from the spring of the sacred scriptures. We drink it in from the example of holy people, especially from the lives of the saints. And then finally, of course, we drink it in from good spiritual reading, videos, and lectures. But now a question for you, a question. Do you thirst for this water? Chances are, if you're watching this video, you are. Do you ever feel like you can't learn at all? That there is so much to learn? Well, then give thanks that you can always enjoy learning more and drinking it in. Do you feel like whatever is left to learn is trivial or doesn't really matter? Well, perhaps that is because your spiritual state allows for you to only receive so much knowledge and no more. It may be a sign that you must deepen in maturity in your relationship with the Lord. So all of these situations are common because they call us to a greater humility. True knowledge leads to humility and true humility leads to knowledge. I hope this homily afterthought was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video by hitting that thumbs up button and feel free to comment down below. My name is Father Christopher Plant. I'm the pastor of St. Bartholomew in Katy, Texas. You have been watching this homily afterthought with Conversing Clergy. Remember, because he loved us first, we seek to do his will. Here I am at your door. Would you let me in?